Kumusta yung 10 million mo? Yeah. <laughs> I give 15 million talagang 7,500. Hey guys, so I'm off to Stock Smarts Manila, our sixth session for the entire Manila series where this time we talk about fundamentals, but not just fundamentals, we talk about valuations and how can people compute uh, the target price of a stock on their own, by their own skill and by their own strategy because that's how you make money in the market so you need to know what price or how, how undervalued the stock that you're actually buying then since it's a Sunday today uh, I'm gonna go to church in the afternoon but I'm gonna try to know something that uh, I, I that, we, that I still get into the stocks by request that you post and it's just really been busy guys uh, the past few days it's been relatively hard for me to uh, somehow do it because uh, of the schedule but I'll try to uh, integrate some of the stocks uh, that we want to talk about over the next uh, I guess few <laughs> over the, over the course of the days So, ganito. So, you integrate the meaning into it. If you know overvalued na siya, pero uptrend, the moment na nag-reduce yun, sell it. Uh, no reason to hold on to it anymore because I love overvalued siya. The reason why you're just holding on to it because you don't sell uptrend. But other than that, you can sell already. It's overvalued. We just finished Stock Smarts in Manila. I'm with my wife who has a new haircut that is not approved by me, but she likes it. Yeah. What's your comment on your haircut? I like my hair. <laughs> Guys, so I just finished Stock Smarts Manila and I have my driver here who's. What, what sound is that? Just annoying. Why are you trying to annoy me? Turn off my radio! We're vlogging! We're vlogging! Why are you like that? I'm driving! Go away! What did you do? What did you just do? What is that? What is that? Can you explain it to our YouTubers what you just did? Do it! What does that mean? To hide the view! What view? You wanna take a photo of that? <laughs> Hey guys, as promised, stocks by request. We're gonna feature different stocks throughout the day. So the first stock that I'd like to talk about is Ayala Land. Ayala Land, from a position trading standpoint, is still uh, pretty much bearish. No, it's still in a downward progression. So again, similar to what we've given in the previous updates, uh, no buy signal yet for position traders as the stock is still heavy into its downtrend. However, for quick traders though, there's one thing that I'd like to point out. It started to bounce though. No? Uh, after it went above the 37 uh, peso price range, it gave us a notion already that 37 is forming as a support range. So, a couple of things. Uh, if 37 does not hold, disregard because it will further enhance the breakdown. However, also, if you are a uh, quick trader and it bounces off the 37 level, you have to understand from a price and momentum standpoint, momentum oscillators are already showing that Ali is oversold. So, bounce from 37, it could go to 39, which is a short-term resistance for it. So, breaks out of 39, then it could possibly go back to 42. But uh, before it goes to 42, it must break out from 39. Before it goes from 39, the 37 level must hold first for the short term. So, progression for quick traders, bounce from 37, target price is 39. Break out from 39, target price is 42. Uh, failure to hold 37, you can see the downtrend further escalate further. Uh, you can you can know that the downtrend will further escalate and just avoid the stock completely as well. Next stock, uh, we're gonna talk about, uh, let's talk about banks. I want to talk about BDO as well. BDO, same thing, similar to what's happening with uh, Ayala Land, it's still pretty much bearish, short, mid, long term. So if you're a position trader, no buy signal for the stock. Avoid the stock first while it's moving towards its downtrend. Avoid the stock first while it's still uh, down. Again, our goal as a position trader, if you're a position trader, is to stay away until the market gives you a clear reversal that it's starting to go up. As of this point in time, there's no signal yet. Uh, bears are still controlled. And try to just uh, store your cash and come in when you have your reversal signals start to emerge. Now, if you're a quick trader though, 
stock has hit another support level at around 125 pesos per share. So if you're a quick trader, support is at 125. It's not yet as oversold though as compared to Ayala Land, but if 125 will hold, it will bounce similar to what it did uh, twice already. It did it once last uh, by the end of May, then another one uh, sometime this June. Then it's back at the 125 level again uh, as of last Friday. Now, here's the thing, trading plan, buy at 125, should it bounce, target price is around 137.5 pesos per share. However, ri the risk that you'll have there is this, if it doesn't hold, no, there's a bigger chance, there's a, there's a firm chance that it could retrace to around 122 pesos per share for the short term. So, think, think about this, uh, 125 level, 126 level, bounce from that, target price is, target price is 137.5, failure to hold that, it can go to 122 to as low as... 119 over the short term but uh, position trading wise bearish uh, quick trading wise go with that uh, specific levels that I've mentioned as well Bloom is also in a downtrend uh, for those who've been following you know this most of the stocks that we are trying to watch are in downtrends or are breaking down even further or for some they've, ju they've just started to break down from those key support levels so majority of the market is still bearish nothing much has changed similar to the previous updates that we've given over the past few months a market that's in a downtrend will continue to go down until proven otherwise for bloom though uh, it started to reverse sometime last March when it failed to break past uh, 15 pesos per share or around 14.4 14.5 pesos then it started to break down hence bringing us to where we are now uh, Bloom is in a downtrend you are a position trader stay away no no buy signal yet something happened last uh, Friday where Bloom broke down with a large candlestick from the 9.9 .9 support level so what does that mean if the selling continues uh, next Monday or tomorrow you could expect the stock to go to around 8.8 .8 pesos per share that's that's where the next support level is so check this out if it stays above 9.9 .9, it could possibly bounce back and head to around 11.6 pesos per share uh, if it fails to hold 9.9 .9, it could possibly go to 8.8 .8. so please remember this if you're a quick trader holds and stays above 9.9 .9, there's a possibility it goes to 11.6 if it fails to hold 9.9 .9, then the retracement will bring it to 8.78 so again similar to BDO this is not yet uh, Oversold. There's still a possibility that sellers could still push this at a lower rate since it's still relatively bearish as well. Now telecoms just broke down from the support level of 8.7 pesos per share. Price and momentum oscillators are also showing that the stock has started to move bearish, that there's a change in direction downward, that there's a movement already from uh, a consolidation pattern which used to be the pattern and the movement of now over the past few days. Uh, the breakdown is what's causing it to move relatively downward as well. Where could the direction go? Where could the stock possibly go? We have a support at 6.8 pesos per share. So if the downward movement would continue to progress, uh, the next area where now could possibly go would give you a downside to 6.8 pesos per share here's the thing on top of all of that uh short mid and long term uh, moving averages are also bearish it broke down from all of that uh just also almost at the same week so why am i saying this if you are a quick trader because of the downward movement because of the breakdown stay away from the stock first until it goes back to the support at 6.8 pesos per share and if you are uh, if you are watching if it will actually bounce it has to actually go back up above 8.7 if you want to see it progress higher but if it doesn't go back to 8.7 chances are it will go down and retrace around 6.8 pesos per share for the short term now mm -hmm, let's talk about Jollibee Jollibee <laughs> similar to now has also broken down but it did not just break down uh, similar to what now is doing uh, Jollibee broke down with a large black candle successive large black candles and I've mentioned this over the past few videos that Jollibee has a support range at around 275 pesos per share which it suddenly broke uh, just just a few days ago what does that mean what does it have to do and how how will that uh, progress in the next few days if the if the stock continues in its breakdown you'll probably see it drop to around 257 pesos per share if the job if the stock if Jollibee continues um, it did not just break down from its support range but price and momentum oscillators are also showing uh, that it's 
movement is headed downward, its movement is headed into a more bearish undertone, that its movement may lead it and bring it uh, lower and lower and lower and lower over the next few days. The only reason why Jollibee intraday uh, last Friday started to go up was it because it was protected by the 200-day moving average. The 200-day moving average, you have to remember, is a very, very, very strong support level. So if it bounces off of that, you are a position trader. You can add more to your positions. However, if it breaks down from that, Jollibee will be at the 250 level and we'll see how it goes from there and we'll see how it progresses uh, as of that point in time. But as of this, as of now, if the breakdown continues, quick traders, stay away. Uh, position traders, if it falls below 260 plus stay away from the stock as well Jollibee is a good company however you have to remember stocks like that they don't go up forever there will be a point in time also where sellers will be in control and that's what we're seeing now we're seeing sellers also take control of the market as well say hello Raj Raja smile headed to church it's a Sunday why do we have to go to church? Because church is good. That's <laughs> <laughs> So we just finished church. Did you enjoy? Yeah, so stay tuned for the last part of stocks by request. Say bye. Hey guys, let's finish this stocks by request with MRC and Mega World. MRC, uh, as of the last trading day, also broke down from its support level. Uh, because of it breaking down from the support levels at 0.61 so again when a support level gets broken down to it now becomes the new resistance and should it continue its downward movement I believe that MRC could possibly go down and be traced to around uh, 0.525 which is the next support level so while this is all happening money's moving down and please moving out of the stock and please remember this while this is happening, it broke out already of uh, two significant moving averages, short-term moving averages as well, and which uh, coincided now with the 20, 50, and 100 day. The only thing protecting it now is the 200 day moving average, which is the strongest moving average of what I, of the parameters that I use. So now, uh, what's the next step? If the downward movement continues, uh, the next support is 0.525. The only thing that protected it from falling the past few days was just uh, the 100-day moving average protecting it and preventing it and creating a support level but if that does not hold watch for the 0.525 level if it bounces from 0.525 uh, it could possibly go and retrace further and go up or sorry and bounce around 0.61 pesos per share so let's see where it goes let's see how it handles and let's see uh, what's the possible movement of this stock mega world on the other hand is also bearish for the short mid and long term so if you're a position trader uh, stay away from the stock first we don't have any buy signal yet if you're a position trader there's no reversal yet because it failed to break out of the very very strong resistance at around five pesos per share now if you are a quick trader because of its failure to break out of five you saw the retracement around 4.5 pesos per share but something happened also just last week also it failed to hold 4.5 meaning the retracement of breakdown to the next support level is activated the next support level is around 4.1 pesos per share so why am i saying this no buy signal for position traders for mega world if you are a quick trader because it failed to hold 4.5 you may expect mega world to retrace to 4.1 pesos per share as well uh, bounce from 4.5 will bring it to around 5 pesos should it go back to 4.5 so here's a play if it stays above 4.5 it has a possibility to go to 5 fails to hold go back to 4.5 retracement to 4.1 pesos per share as well so either way your goal is to maintain your position and your goal is to maintain and maximize your capital if it's not if the trade is not for you then just don't go for it you don't have to be in the market all the time you only have to be there when it comes the most so that's it for a stocks by request for the day uh, post below if you have more questions and i'll try to make as much videos as i can as well i'll just keep on sending and i'll try to analyze as much stocks also while i'm here in manila but just a quick update on the events uh the last uh update or the last iteration of stock smarts manila will be this saturday then after that i'm going to doha qatar for i'll, I'll be there for a week 
for AFP and another stock smart session there. Then after that, end of July, I'll be in Hong Kong. Then second week of August, I'll be in Iloilo. And then the next set of events will restart again. We have Manila in September. Then you have Cebu in October. Then you have Dubai on November and Singapore on November as well. So that's it for now. Please remember this, uh, markets always go down. It's normal for markets to drop. It's normal for markets to uh, retrace. And it's normal for it to for bears to also take control. That's why you mustn't uh, be emotional when you see movements like that. Your goal is when markets are dropping to stay okay. Your goal when markets are dropping is to follow what your technicals and fundamentals are telling you because that's when money is made. Money is made when you stick to your plan. Money is made when you stick to your goal. Money is made when you know what to do in spite of situations not being the most optimistic. So that's it for now. Thanks to everyone who attended Stock Smarts Manila. I hope you guys enjoyed and you have a firmer conviction on how to make money in the market. So this is Marvin Grimo about to lose my voice, but I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon. Yeah! And ready to mingle! Yeah, plug! Ideal guy! Meron ba wala? Wala naman mo. Sa YouTube lang talaga ba? So. Hindi Facebook. Ang YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Yeah. Oh. Meron wala, wala, meron wala. Idea. Ano kailangan mo? Ano kailangan mo? Ano? Facebook ke Lord sa akin. Yo. Okay, okay. Link below. Viral ba? Mahihim viral pa ako ako naman. Yan ang comment mo, yung classmate mo is 15 years old. Oh, tas nagwe mental math lang siya. Pero mas guwapo. Naniniwala ka ba doon? Mas pogey ako. May difference ang guwapo ako. Ano ano difference? Ang sabi ni Ramon Bautista, ang guwapo inborn, ang pogey na pag-aaral. So ano ka, guwapo o pogey? Guwapo na nga pogey pa. Tapos yung girlfriend kita, nag-invest ako sa stock market at bibigyan kita. Ang sugar daddy yung dating. Ayoko pa ka parang pabibigirls ta.